load. Vspray makes the most advanced recycling machines for aerosols in the world. What we have behind us um, will take the aerosols in a safe manner, crush them, separate all your liquids from your gases, from your metal, make sure everything can be recycled properly, used again properly in a safe and efficient manner. Right now there's 16 billion cans a year that are being either landfilled, shredded, and everything is going to atmosphere. So Dayspray has a technology that the world needs. Wereldwide worden meer dan 90% van de spuitbussen in de afvalberg gegooid. Omdat het een lastig product is, het is explosiegevaarlijk. Dat maakt dat meeste mensen de vingers er vanaf willen houden. Het heeft een aantal stoffen in zich die natuurlijk milieuonvriendelijk zijn. Denk dan aan de verven of insecticiden. En dan is het de meest makkelijke weg dumpen of afvalberg. I'll use this can for example. Almost every aerosol in the world have pressurized fossil fuels inside for propellant. They have hazardous waste liquid, and then they have the metal can and a little bit of plastic. Currently, there are technologies for crushing and shredding, which only gets the metal, which is not the most environmentally in impactful part of the aerosol. It's really the hazardous waste and the propellant. And at D-Spray, we solve all three problems in one. When you go to a shredder, at least they're getting the metal back, but then you've got to deal with the danger of the cans themselves, which are under pressure with highly flammable gases inside. So the technical hurdles we have to follow is that it's an explosive, and it's extremely environmentally unfriendly. And in order to get the, the raw materials, you have to deal with both of those items. We have a lot of safety systems built in this installation waardoor we ja, toch wel het grotere gevaar wat er bij deze verwerking van de spuitbussen heerst, explosiegevaar, brandgevaar, we dat echt wel geminimaliseerd hebben. And that's a lot of engineering and a lot of technology to get there. It's not easy creating a non-explosive machine in a small footprint. And also the, one of the big differences, we can sell this machine as a complete turnkey factory that's already completely tested as an operating unit. And then we tear it down here, take all the exterior components up, ship it overseas, and we already know it's running. We just have to pre-assemble the outside stuff, and away we go. So our, our customers now have almost a miniature factory shipped to their site, installed in three days, a couple more days for training, and we're in business. As you can see, the one behind me just made these bricks, the first run yesterday, maiden voyage. Uh, but every single one before it leaves our factory is ready to go, it's tested. Customers come in, accept them, love them before they even leave, before they come to their door. Well, for, for the clients we're seeing, you're gonna make a lot of money. Whether you buy our smallest machine or big ones behind us, the return on investment's kind of crazy right now because you're the only one who's gonna be processing things properly, safely, and taking them out of those landfills. I can't see environmental issues going backwards. I can't see safety going backwards. And I can't see anybody catching up with our technology in the short term. Time to scale up. Time to scale up. <laughs> For sure, time to scale up. <laughs>